I am Dr. Diana Weber, and I have an egg. I'm Tierney, I'm an RN, and I have an egg. I'm Dr. Jason Mitchell, and I have an egg. I have never been in an organization in which we had an egg. Presbyterian has an egg. <laughs> okay, what's that? Yeah, I thought it was like EKG or EMG, and I was wondering what I missed because I'd never heard of an EGG. You'll never hear us say, talk about our vision or our purpose. You hear us say, our egg. Everyone that works for press has an egg. Physicians and housekeepers and nurses and techs and pharmacists. As they're putting the words into the picture, it could be the orbit of a planet. It could be a football. It just evolved into an egg based on the shape. Press requests of us to think about you as a person, what you do, and how you can tie into it. So it becomes very personal. My egg is about excellence. My egg is about connection. My egg is about patience. My egg is about holistic care. What's neat about it is it is us that we put inside that egg. We, we are not asked to adopt Presbyterian's egg. It really does have the essence of us. Being that I'm a surgeon and rather strong-willed, kind of resisted it. Why should a doctor have to make an egg? I know why I'm here. Of course I'm dedicated to high performance. Why do I have to write that down into an egg? The egg is very personal and it allows you to identify your individual efforts, but it also completely aligns everybody. I feel like this is my living room, like this is my house. You're going to go all the way to the back. My job is to greet people as they walk in, to welcome them and make them feel like someone cares for them. I love my job. It's a spiritual thing with me. I go home feeling like, wow, I helped all these people today. Family member doing good? Very well. My egg is spiritual. My egg is about passion. My egg is about people. My egg is about caring. My egg is about compassion. When people come here, they're always under the influence, under the influence of anger, of fear, of grief, of all those things that stops a person from really making right, good decisions. So we have to have the patience and the compassion to look through all of those negative things that come through at first. When that person turns it around and when they just they reach their hand out to shake my hand, it's a great feeling. That's when I know I did a good job. What it means to me is a start and basically something that's going to grow and change the way healthcare is practiced in this country today. This is my favorite. The purpose is improvement in the health and well-being of patients, the community, the nation, and all humanity is our goal. And if you knew this doctor, you'd understand this guy. This guy is from Ghana. Uh, he's just an amazing person. When I look at an egg, no matter from what species it is, I see potential. When an organism in nature produces an egg, she's putting everything she possibly can into that to make sure that that egg is the best that she can possibly produce. The egg represents the future. It's, it's the representation of all the potential in the world. The vision that we've incorporated into the egg is earning the letter. What is the letter that we would like to receive from a patient or a family? And when you get one of those letters, it just makes everything more worthwhile. The letter I would like to receive says, Dear Dr. Weber, thank you for treating me with compassion and kindness. Dear Marlene, thank you for your eagerness to help. Thank you for involving me in my child's care. You and the members of your health care team gave my dad a second chance of life. I came to your office frightened because of the diagnosis I had just received. Your staff helped calm my fears. And when you brought me in, <laughs> I'm sorry, and let me touch my child. I saw the difference it made. With the deepest respect and appreciation. Sincerely, the Presbyterian family. Sincerely, your patient. Presbyterian has influence throughout many communities in New Mexico. And I'm the administrator at Espanola Hospital, and I have an egg. I'm the nurse manager at Socorro General Hospital, and I have an egg. I think of us as caring for New Mexico. I know the people we take care of. I'm from Socorro. I know my community. We are New Mexicans serving New Mexicans. Every day when I drive down Asleta, I see my grandmother's house where my mom grew up. I see my uncle's house next door, my aunt's house. It's a very community-oriented clinic, and, and it's a clinic that I, that I live in and that I love. I don't think they just put this one on yet. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, God bless you. I retired from AT&T as Chief Financial Officer for Marketing and Sales, and I'd always dreamed of being a nurse. And 
decided to do so at 50 years old, and I've never been happier. Knowing that you had a micro preemie that was a 23-weeker, now growing and being a normal baby, it's just simply extraordinary. You know you helped that baby get there. Why have we been here over 100 years? Why are we still in the community? Why do we have employees that work for 50, 60 years? I put some very important words on my egg, uh, words that, that help uh, reground me, uh, maybe after a hard day. Sometimes different words from the egg jump out at me for that, that time. And it always seems like the right ones. My egg is about respect. Treat them as if it was you sitting there. That, I mean, it's just, it makes me get all choked up thinking about it because it's just so important to me. It's truly sincere. It really does mean something to us. It resonates with the organization and it was created from the organization. It really comes from the heart of the organization. And, um, and that, that being genuine makes a big difference. It represents our future, our goals, our strategy, and where we plan to take New Mexico's health care uh, to the future. If it's nurtured, this egg becomes a living spirit. When you have your doubts, when you lose your sense of confidence, when you're feeling vulnerable and you have to kind of go back to your values, I, I check in with my egg. We're doing the right thing here.